What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Team Solomon Circus live video. Down on the left side here, we have Plunder Patrol, you know, a very popular deck that is very budget that we see a lot of people being playing lately, picking up those cards. And on the right side, we have Adding Mister, a deck that's been around for quite a while, to be honest. I'm, you know, able to set up those big tower monsters. A lot of people are off the Herald of the Abyss now, um, going back to, like, those hand traps. So we could always see, like, the uh, Ignister deck being able to play through that. You know, if they're able to set up their big combo... Um, it is quite powerful here. We're going to see the Ignister player started off with a Silent Mining discarding a Bell here to be able to search for a Picari there. You know, also be able to play lots of those hand traps. Um, we're seeing it search for the chip here, making the normal summon chip, and this is essentially the full combo there, uninterrupted as well. Um, I know Plunder is a big fan of playing those board breakers though, um, but if they're able to set up the, the essentially the huge monster here, um, it's going to be quite difficult for them to be able to stop this. We're going to see some search for the Reborn here. Then we're going to link away into the uh, to the Infant here. That's going to be able to search us for the copy of the Field Spell. I think they already had it in hand, though. Then we're going to search for the... We're going to act with the AI, Meet You. Reveal the Fire, searching for the Fire here. And then we're able to play the Field Spell, summoning out the Fire off the Effect. Then we're going to act with the Effect, searching for any of the... Either the Lily Dark or... Probably not the wind one. Yeah, going for the dark here. I believe that's the regular one. You can also go for like a water if you're playing it. If you already have dark in the hand, but dark's just way better. Then we can link away if we wanted to for a copy here of Splash Mage, I believe the combo is. Um, or yeah, we can actually go for yeah, the wind one here. And then we can special summon out the dark. That's going to trigger the effect of the, uh, the one in the graveyard here. We got the Oh, we're not even activating the effect. What the heck? Going for transcode. Did transcode special someone out here? Oh, they already have it in hand. I guess you definitely, you probably should go for Splash Mage there, but I guess if you want to be saving your Splash Mages, we go for a Templar, and then Templar effect is going to be able to activate there. And then we're going to be calling Divine, and we get to Reborn out here. Then we can go for a Synchro and XYZ if we wanted to here, which we are going to be going for a Synchro. We see a Talents in the hand as well there. Then we're going to be able to search for a math mech card. Searching for maybe the circular. Then circular effect can dump the sigma. Then we can activate the effect, you know, making us go for a copy here of the math mech reborn. Go for a splash mage. Splash mage can reborn out the circular. Then we can go for the copy of the heat soul here. Heat Soul will let us... Oh, we can actually summon out Circular here once again. Then Heat Soul are just going to be going for this here. Okay. Summoning out the big one here, as well as having the Heat Soul still be able to act with the effect there, which we haven't drawn yet. If you're going to be paying a 1,000 to draw. We draw into Ash Blossom. It's going to be a Veiler, Ash, and the Reborn. Quite good. And I believe it used four different attributes, if I'm not mistaken. But then we're going to be setting one and passing on to this, though. We do see a lightning storm in the hand. That's quite nice. Then we're going to see during the draw phase, we're going to be drawing another card. Then we're going to see the lightning storm calling the spells and traps. They're going to activate the reborn there to reborn back out. Reborning out the chip, and then chip will be able to search, which is going to be playing into their light or their talents though, and they're going to be taking the AI meet you, which will let them search the, during the following turn. The field spell should also be destroyed there. We're going to see a talents to draw here, and we are looking in the graveyard, seeing that we do have the big guy that can negate a card on the field here. We still have four cards left in hand. You know, drawing two can be quite good. Um, oh, they are realizing that the spell. Okay. They're going to hit hit with Ash Blossom here, which is quite good. We're seeing the Field Spell, and then they're going to activate the effect here. They're making sure they're saying, I'm not activating it on the, on the activation here. 
And then we're going to be pitching the white beard. And that's going to let them search for a black eyes here. And then we're going to summon out the white beard because it was discarded. Or I get we search off of white beard if it's discarded. Oh, oh no, yeah, it summons out. Okay, summoning out the uh, golden hair here. Then we're going to put the effect of the black eyes to summon itself out by adding it back, the, um, which is good because we have not used our normal summon yet, so we can actually normal summon it out later in the turn if we need to. And we do have the Veiler in the hand as well as, you know, a Towers monster, which is going to be quite hard for us to beat, um, you know, one of the outs that they could go maybe is for the Unreal Goddess. I, I truly don't even think they have an out to this. Like, they're thinking kind of hard here. You know, they have Dark Ruler in the hand and then the booty as well. You know, so it's actually two dead cards. I don't think they have a way to get into multiple bodies. That's the problem. If they're even playing the, uh, like, a way to get out of it. The Underworld Goddess here. We're going to see the match with the effect. Discarding to summon back out here. We need two more bodies to be able to do this. Just take a second to read the Plunder Patrol guy. It does let you draw, but it doesn't. Like you've already used both extenders essentially here. We've used the Golden Hair as well as the Black Eyes. So for us to get into like two more monsters is quite problematic. Um, then we have like the effect of all. I guess all of them can tag out now into like any crazy card. Because we have a Fire, we have a Light, we have a Dark. Um, we have everything really that they need. We have an Earth for the Earth ship. With the seed, the max for the effect, they get hit with a Veiler. You know, just having it all as well as the Towers monster. They're going to go battle phase, attack into the uh, Light Guy. They're going to be passing turn on this. You see the effect here. Trying to pop, and they're going to be chaining. And then we do have the level 6 in the graveyard to negate. And then we're going to see our going to scoop it up there. They also drew into a uh, a copy of Veiler here. I didn't think they activated the effect as well to draw, so they drew into a bell. You know, and pretty nice cards. Having all those hand traps, which is what like a lot of the power of the deck does have. You know, being able to set up a floodgate and then also being able to essentially draw on um, there. Like that was a perfect hand. Having like the discard like that copy of Bell and then keep having some stuff. You know, it's pretty nice as well. But moving on to game two, um, they will be have to like try to break a board. And Plunder Patrol is not that great at establishing a board, but they cannot make their opponent go first, which is a problem here. Because if they don't have like a way, unless they're playing like ways to out the board, um, we see a Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit in the side deck as well. That could potentially maybe be used for a cross of targets, because I know that it's playing a little bit more due to Centurion. Um, Centurion is a good deck now that people are playing for it. I think it also hits like Medium as well as like some random stuff. Like it hits, it's not like good. I don't think it's necessarily, you know, good, but it's side deckable, I guess. And some people are playing it in the main because they want to be play, playing, I guess, one of every hand trap, whatever you want. But I definitely do not think it is very good. We're going to see Plunder start off with a normal summon of the Golden Hair, and then we're going to link off into the All Mirage here, which is the one card Black Beard. They're going to activate the effect, discarding the Red Beard, and they're going to summon itself out, and they're going to be linking away into a copy of the the Black Beard here. Then it's going to pass turn on this. With a set card. So, you know, having some maybe some hand traps in the hand there. We're going to see them activate Silent Mining. Pitching the bell here. And that's going to let them search for either the chip or the dip. I also want to, like... Did you know that in Master Duel they're bringing this down at 2? Like, Silent Mining to 2 is so crazy. They're going to be normal summoning out the chip. Activating the effect when we see them tag out um, the Blackbeard. Go into the, the Earth ship here because we did discard the bell. And then get the draw card as well. Searching for the AI contact. So maybe having numerous of the field spells in the deck 
which uh, isn't quite common anymore. I do believe that a lot of the builds have now switched to one, which I think is so wild to me because, you know, you're able to have like a draw three is absolutely insane. And free searches are free searches here. And we're going to see the booty going to activate the effect here, turning it into a different attribute there and attempting to reborn out. They're going to chain the bell there, which is going to be okay. They're going to activate AI contact, revealing the field spell in their hand, as well as the one that's activated here. And I get to draw three cards. Putting it to the bottom of the deck and then drawing three. Essentially a plus one and then you also get to search. And they get hit with a droll, but like they already drawn three cards, man. Like it's not like they're drawing one card. They're drawing three. It's interesting that we didn't see them droll on the search of Bakari there. Um, and there's multiple opportunities to droll there. We could have seen them. I guess they might have drawn droll off of the uh, the Blackbeard, actually. Which probably is what happened. You know, I, I can't see them not trolling um, after, you know, searching off Silent Mining. Like, droll is absolutely kills this deck. See them pass. They're going to activate the effect here to... Uh, to try to reborn. It's going to get hit with another copy of Bell. Having that triple Bell in the deck. That is very weird. This deck does play like 20 hand traps though. So I guess you know it's quite fair. I know he is a budget player. So probably only playing with what he's got. And it is working well for him. Like Bell is pretty good. It's good against Unchained. It's good against Tear. Um, it's good against Chimera. It's also good against uh, like Branded still. It's good against this deck. It's good against a bunch of decks. It's great against uh, Lab as well. So, you know, definitely could see a reason to play it in, like, the side deck. Um, especially if you're a budget player, you know, it's, it's a great card, of course. Um, but, like, especially with the rarity collection. But those are, like, common. So, maybe until you got to pick up stuff from the rarity collection, he's just rocking those bells. Which is fine. We don't hate here. And we're going to see some Planet Patrol going into the black. And then we're going to be, you know, equipping here. Normal summoning out a Droll. Then we're going to put the effect here to try to put Droll into the, uh, I guess, make Droll tag out essentially into a ship. But it gets hit with a Veiler here, which is just not what we expected. They're going to turn the um, Earth ship into attack position here. They're going to go Battle Phase, Attack, and then Attack. Dealing some life points here and leaving one card left in hand and passing turn on this. I think we have another sign up mining here. We do... We're going to discard the copy of the field spell. And they do have a light and earth here. We're searching for a light once again. So maybe not wanting to tag out into a fire. Letting them only have a light and an earth here. Going for the light ship though, which is a negate, I do believe. They're going to see a normal summon. They're going to act with the effect to negate and destroy. And then they're going to be searching here for the field spell and i believe we're now on nothing like there's no there's no real way we can continue here so we're going to pass turn on this they're going to go field spell and this is just going to be game here you're going to see them go battle phase and it's going to be attack for game but moving on into game three here droll will be a problem if uh if well obviously we're going to be seeing the uh ignister player going to be going first here you know, setting up potentially their full combo here. But, like, Droll is quite problematic. You know, being a crazy card. I don't really know if there actually is a bunch of outs to stop, like, an untargetable, uncareable monster. Like, I always think about, like, okay, well, what could you do to stop this? And to be honest, I don't even know. Like, it's more like you want to prevent than stop it afterward. I guess, like, Herald the Abyss is fine. Thrust is fine, but like as we said earlier, a lot of players are now like hopping off of those uh, those Herald of the Abyss clients because Purely has kind of fallen off, which is kind of wild. Um, you know, if you actually like Herald, you can like send and unchain cards, um, which is pretty nice. You know, hitting like a Fiend Dark, you know, it's, it's not even that bad. We're gonna see them normal summon out the the chip here, which is gonna let them search. Will we see them get hit with a Droll? Searching for the Reborn here, which can let them play through Droll a little tiny bit. We see no Droll, but we do see a Nib in the hand, getting absolutely ready to just drop on the opponent here. We're going to see them go for the Field Spell here, and then activate the AI Contact, revealing the Fire here to search for the Fire. 
Then we can activate the field spell here. Summon number three is going to be happening. Then activate the effect here. Searching for the dark most likely. And then we're going to be linking two away for the copy of Wicked here. Then we're going to activate the effect Summon out the Wicked. Or Summon out the Dark. Then we're going to activate the effect Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2. Banishing to search as well. And then they're going to be thinking here, do we nib our opponent on the summon? They are going to be nibbing here. You know, they did already add back. But we did see the Link Spider in the, in the extra deck there. So they will be able to play through this. They're going to be handing over their token quite swiftly here. They also have the Reborn, so they can like really just continue. They want to summon out the Wind. The Wind one will be able to dump here at the level 6. Going for Splash Mage. I think they did forget to activate that effect. Splash Mage is going to be... Oh, they have it in hand. They're going to be summoning out the Light first with the effect. And then they're going to be Splash Mage and bringing back out. They want to go into a Templar here. Templar effect... or. We're going to be seeing them reborn out the fire first, link away, and then they're going to act with the effect, turning it into a divine. And then we're going to be seeing the Templar effect here, summoning out the three. Going into the Pegasus here, and then we're going to act with the effect to add back and then reborn. And then we get XYZ here for the Alan Bershon. Activate the effect here, letting us add the circular. Activate circular, sending the Sigma. And then we're going to be seeing the Alan Bershon tag out into the Sigma. Activating the effect here, going to be adding back the, or adding the uh, Reborn here. And looks like they're thinking. Yeah, I mean, it is quite problematic. You definitely do not need to go into the Light Dragon, but they're thinking to do that so they can bounce. Just going to be destroying the Nib there. They want to activate to Reborn out. I want to see us go for the Cyber Stair with four, I believe. We saw a Dark and Light and Wind as well as a Divine. And we're going to see a Set 1 and Pass here. And we don't have the Omni in the graveyard, though, unfortunately. But we're going to be drawing for turn. We do see a Rite of Aramis here, which is a very good rip. We have the Faithful already, um, which is kind of good. Then we see a Rite going to be activating, summoning up the token here. And then we're going to be activating the effect of Faithful. Going to be able to search us here for a monster. Or just for the equip, I should say, yeah. Is there a chance they sided it out? Okay, no, they definitely did not, I was going to say. It is quite good here, you know, being a free discard. They're going to the effect, searching for the... It looks like they're searching for Temple here. You know, maybe needing the extender or thinking about it. Yeah. And we're going to see the Draco back and be equipping by discarding. Searching for the temple there, which is wild to me. Then we're going to be seeing the effect there. 
going to be of the reborn something out of the chip chips gonna be able to search us here for an ai meet you It looks like maybe they wanted like an extender to be able to like summon out the temple there. And like this way they'll have no matter what, they'll just have like free extensions by being able to search for the right of Aramis here. We're going to see the normal summon. Then we're going to go into the Blackbeard here. They're going to be banishing with temple. Search us for a right of Aramis here. And then we're going to see the effects going to activate there. Attempting to reborn out. They're going to get hit with Bell. That would have been their fourth monster there that actually would have been able to go into Underworld Goss, I believe. Because it's five monsters. Is it five or six? I keep always forgetting. Maybe they wouldn't. They need four monsters of their own for... Well, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I suppose that they could have been an Underworld Goddess angle there. If they are playing it. Maybe they're not. I'm just tripping. I don't even know. You know, they did take 24 because I did reveal off, and they have not summoned out the uh, the decode talker there, but. We're going to see them summon out here the red beard from the deck. It looks like they just don't have an Underworld Goddess, actually. That's what it looks That's what it's looking like to me. They're going to go for the Brawn here, and they're going to draw on a card, which is a right, I think. Or the Field Spell. So you're going to activate the Brawn, trying to destroy or banish the Field Spell here. And then I'm going to search for the Black Eyes. So this is going to be a big summon. They are going to see them tag out to put the field spell face down. I put the effect is going to make the, all their monsters gain 300 as well as being able to discard here the red beard. And then let us search for the golden hair for the follow up. And then we can activate the uh, black eyes to summon out here. Surely we play underworld goddess, right? Then Golden Hero will be able to special summon herself out and equip. Sink her into another Brawn here. It's going to be boosting the attacks here. So they're actually just trying to boost up to be able to punch over. That is a strategy, I suppose. We're going to see it punch over the Light Dragon here. And they're going to be reading the Pegasus and the Graveyard, which it looks like the Planet Patrol player completely forgot about. They're going to act banish to act for the effect here. And they're going to spin, or they're going to pop the brawn there. Then they're going to be seeing the black eyes attack into the chip. Then we're going to go past turn, activate the, go to main phase, act for the effect, popping the brawn. Summon out the token here, which is a pretty big token, I think. Or is it? It's a zero zero token, I think. I always forget. It's always interesting to me that they can do that. Then we're gonna see a normal summon out of Picari, activating the effect there, which can let us search for the Fighting Spirit, another reborn. This one can reborn out the Dark Monster if they wanted to. Which, like on summon, can add back, but summoning out the Fire. Is a possibility as well. They're going to tag out with the black eyes. Going into the beard. Which draws into Nib. Wow. That's summon number three here. We do have to be careful to not play into Nib. We are going to be searching for the fire. Or the water here. Off of the fire.
we could go for an access code here actually right now which would be able to pop the whole field and attack for game we're in special summon out which is the fourth summon here and now we are in no matter what we do here we're going to be getting hit with nib which is so unfortunate but the nib is going to be massive going for the update jammer oh no they're going to be trying to get rid of the cybers here they're going to activate i need to revealing for the earth searching up okay that's a three thousand guy okay i was gonna say they definitely do not play the earth one that one sucks to activate the effect special summon out you know they can go into an access code here if they wanted to but they're going to just go into a transcode here transcode will be able to bring back the update jammer and they could just go right in for a copy of access code right now there's summon outs the Achari, I don't even know why. They're going to attempt to nib here, which is going to be a massive nib. Um, I don't even know why they activated this, to be honest. But it is going to be a huge token. They are looking in the graveyard here. They're not going to take 24, though, which they are going to be quite happy about. They can go battle phase attack into it. And that's just going to be it. But they do have lots of other stuff. And they have Nib again. We're going to see Rite of Aramis here summoning out once again here. And then we can search for a copy of Temple. Well, this can then can discard a copy of, I guess they can discard Temple. Banish Temple, search for a Rite here. activate to dump the white beard here which can let them search out for the black eyes and then we can summon out from the deck go for the golden hair once again here i don't actually know how they're going to get rid of this token to be honest we're going to see them sink or summon out for the brawn i, I don't know how they're going to be beating over the cyber sky then we're going to be putting it into the spell and trap card zone and then summoning out the token here Oh yeah, tokens to both sides of the field. I completely forgot about that. Maybe they can change a token and attack and like beat over it. Because they are down on a bunch of life. We see them summon up the black eyes that are searching for... Or adding back the golden hair here. That's carrying the right of Aramis here. And they nib them as well. Holy! Is that even worth it though? Like you're <laughs> losing a token that's huge. And this is a battle of the nibs. And time gets called, which we are going to be seeing the Adagnester player lower in life. So we're going to be seeing Planet Patrol I'm taking the match there. I don't even know what would have happened if we would have still had time. You know, Adagnester was quite in the lead there. They didn't have much room to go into an access code, but they would have been able to slowly just punch for game. Um, you know, the Plant Patrol player, essentially their boat floating in the ocean here. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I want to see some more content like this. Don't forget to stay safe. Peace.